Welcome to the Metal Pit. I am your host, Pandora. Visit our website, www.themetalpit.org. Follow our Facebook and Instagram, at The Metal Pit. Check out our podcast. Let's begin. Is it the pulse of a heavy metal drum solo or the quickening pace of a horror movie chase scene? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Heavy metal and horror movies, two genres often misunderstood, frequently demonized, but undeniably powerful. For decades, heavy metal and horror have walked hand in hand, feeding off each other's energy, inspiring countless artists and terrifying millions. Heavy metal and horror don't just attract fans, they build communities. They are the outcasts, the rebels, the ones who dare to look into the abyss and laugh. This shared sense of otherness creates a bond, a sense of camaraderie that transcends geographical boundaries and cultural differences. In the mosh pit or the movie theater, surrounded by like-minded souls, these perceived differences melt away. To truly understand the unholy union of heavy metal and horror, we must travel back to a time when both genres were taking their first tentative steps into the darkness. It was the late 1960s, a time of social upheaval, political unrest, and a growing fascination with the macabre. Horror movies, once relegated to drive-ins and B-movie status, were finding a new audience hungry for something more than just jump scares and rubber monsters. Bands like Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin, and Deep Purple were drawing inspiration from the blues, but they were twisting it, distorting it, creating something heavier, darker, more intense. These early metal pioneers didn't shy away from the imagery and themes that were already sending chills down the spines of moviegoers. Tony Iommi, Black Sabbath's guitarist and riff master, has often spoken about his love of horror films. The band's name itself was inspired by a 1963 Boris Karloff horror film. Album covers became canvases for gruesome artwork, concert stages transformed into macabre spectacles, and band members adopted personas that wouldn't have looked out of place in a Vincent Price film. Black Sabbath's self-titled debut album, released in 1970, is widely considered the first true heavy metal album. From the ominous tolling bell that opens the first track, Black Sabbath, to the haunting lyrics about witches, demons, and the occult, the album established a blueprint for a genre that would forever be intertwined with horror. Songs like N.I.B. and Behind the Wall of Sleep were heavy, dark, and undeniably unsettling. Black Sabbath's impact on both metal and horror cannot be overstated. Heavy metal and horror don't shy away from the darkness, they embrace it. They delve into the depths of human fear, confronting us with our own mortality, our deepest anxieties, and the unsettling possibility that there are forces at work beyond our comprehension. Death, in all its gruesome glory, is a recurring theme. Both genres also grapple with the concept of evil, whether it's an external force or something that resides within us all. Beyond the gore and the growls, heavy metal and horror offer something more, a sense of rebellion, a rejection of societal norms, a big middle finger to the status quo. They provide an outlet for those who feel like outsiders, those who don't quite fit in with the mainstream. Metal music, with its loud, aggressive sound and often confrontational lyrics, has always been seen as a threat to the establishment. Horror movies, too, have faced their share of censorship and criticism for their depictions of violence, sex, and taboo subjects. While heavy metal and horror might seem like pure escapism on the surface, they often delve into deeper themes, offering social commentary and exploring the complexities of the human condition. Horror movies have a long history of tackling social anxieties. Heavy metal, too, has a history of social commentary, with bands addressing everything from war and political corruption to environmental destruction and mental health. Ultimately, both genres remind us that we are all capable of great darkness and great beauty. Why does metal fit so well with horror? It's more than just a love for all things dark and heavy. The sonic textures of metal, the aggressive rhythms, the guttural vocals, and the often dissonant melodies tap into the same primal fears and anxieties that horror films exploit so effectively. 
Metal's ability to create atmosphere is unmatched. It's a sound that gets under your skin, burrows into your subconscious, and stays with you long after the credits have rolled. The use of metal in horror soundtracks is not a recent phenomenon. Since the early days of the genre, directors have recognized the power of metal to enhance the terror and create unforgettable cinematic moments. From the use of classic tracks to original scores, metal has become an integral part of the horror soundscape. Modern horror films continue to embrace the genre, with directors like Rob Zombie using heavy music to create a gritty, visceral experience. Metal doesn't just accompany the fear in horror movies, it amplifies it. The music acts as a sonic weapon, heightening the tension, increasing the adrenaline rush, and making the jump scares hit even harder. It adds a layer of visceral intensity that elevates the entire viewing experience. Metal also adds a layer of emotional depth to horror films, mirroring the inner turmoil of the characters or providing commentary on the themes explored. The connection between heavy metal and horror goes beyond soundtracks. Several metal musicians have stepped behind the camera, trading their instruments for directorial duties and crafting some of the most visceral and disturbing horror films in recent memory. The most prominent example is Rob Zombie, whose films are brutal, unflinching, and often deeply disturbing. Bruce Dickinson of Iron Maiden also tried his hand at filmmaking, exploring themes of occultism and academia in Chemical Wedding. Many metal musicians haven't just directed horror films, they've acted in them, often embracing roles that play on their onstage personas. Alice Cooper, the godfather of shock rock, is a natural fit for the horror genre. Dee Snyder of Twisted Sister wrote, starred in, and composed the soundtrack for Strangeland, a cult classic exploring the dark side of the internet and body modification. This crossover isn't surprising given metal's emphasis on theatricality and performance. What is it about metal musicians that draws them to the world of horror? And why are they so adept at creating genuinely unsettling and memorable films? Both metal and horror thrive on pushing boundaries, challenging norms, and exploring the darker side of the human psyche. Metal musicians, by their very nature, are drawn to the extreme, comfortable with darkness, noise, and the macabre. This shared sensibility makes the union of metal and horror so potent a collaboration born of passion, rebellion, and a deep-seated understanding of what it means to confront our deepest fears. Horror imagery in album art and stage design. Heavy Metal's embrace of horror extends far beyond the music itself. It's a visual assault, a feast for the eyes that revels in the grotesque and macabre. From the earliest days, metal bands have used imagery to shock and captivate. Album covers became canvases for nightmarish landscapes and demonic entities. Stage shows transformed into theatrical displays of horror. Consider Slayer's Reign in Blood, an album with gruesome artwork. The cover art captured the album's sonic brutality. It became iconic, solidifying Slayer's reputation. Cannibal Corpse also used graphic depictions of violence. These images were an extension of the music, a visual representation of the band's exploration of the darkest recesses of the human psyche. Section two, Monsters of Metal. Personifying fear through costumes and characters. Beyond the static imagery of album covers, heavy metal bands brought horror to life on stage, transforming themselves into monstrous entities, demonic preachers, and harbingers of doom. Costumes, makeup, and stage personas became an integral part of the metal experience, blurring the lines between musician and monster, concert hall, and horror film set. King Diamond, the operatic vocalist known for his high-pitched screams and theatrical stage presence, transformed himself into a series of ghoulish characters, drawing inspiration from classic horror films and gothic literature. With his corpse paint, top hat, and sinister grin, Diamond embodied the spirit of theatrical horror, his performances as much about visual spectacle as musical prowess. G.U.R., the satirical thrash metal band known for their outrageous stage antics, took a more over-the-top approach, crafting elaborate costumes and masks that resembled creatures from a low-budget horror film. Their concerts were exercises in controlled chaos with fake blood, guts, 
and other bodily fluids flying through the air as the band members acted out scenes of violence and depravity, all in the name of entertainment. Section 3, More Than Shock Value, The Artistic Merit of Horror Aesthetics. Heavy Metal's embrace of horror has undeniable artistic merit. The grotesque imagery, monstrous personas, and theatrical performances create a heightened sense of drama, a visceral connection between artist and audience, and a space to explore the darkest aspects of the human experience. Horror elements in metal create unease, confront taboo subjects, and explore societal boundaries. Blood and gore are symbolic, expressing the music's intensity and the emotions it evokes. Heavy metal uses horror aesthetics to delve into the darker side of the human condition and to challenge societal norms. It thrives on pushing boundaries, making people uncomfortable, and in that discomfort lies a strange kind of beauty. Section 1. Finding Solace in the Shadows. A haven for the misunderstood. Heavy metal and horror are more than just entertainment. They are lifelines for those who feel like they don't belong. They offer a sense of belonging in a world that often feels hostile to those who dare to be different. It's about finding solace in the shadows and kinship in the face of fear. For the kid who was always told to turn down their music, to stop drawing skulls in their notebook, heavy metal and horror are a refuge. They are a place where those perceived flaws are celebrated, where darkness is not something to be feared, but embraced. A community forged in darkness, shared experiences and shared passions. Walk into a metal concert or a horror convention and you'll feel it, a sense of community, of shared passion. It's a gathering of like-minded souls drawn together by their love for the dark, the heavy, the macabre. There's a camaraderie, an unspoken understanding that comes from embracing the things that most people shy away from. The mosh pit, often perceived as chaotic, is actually a testament to this sense of community. Celebrating the unconventional and challenging the status quo. Heavy metal and horror challenge societal norms, celebrating the unconventional. They are a refuge for those who feel different, a place to be loud and passionate. Embracing the taboo brings liberation and empowerment. It's a rejection of conformity, a declaration of independence, a new generation of darkness, evolving sounds and visions. Heavy metal and horror are far from finished. Constantly evolving, they captivate audiences. New generations push boundaries and challenge conventions. Boundaries are meant to be obliterated. Bands like Code Orange defy categorization. Sleep Token weaves haunting melodies and crushing riffs. Heavy metal is a living, breathing entity, constantly evolving. Forever bound by blood and distortion, the enduring legacy of metal and horror. The future of horror is delightfully bleak. Filmmakers like Ari Aster prove true horror relies on slow, creeping dread. Jordan Peele's films explore complex themes while delivering genuine chills. Metal and horror tap into something primal and visceral within us all. They reflect our deepest fears and fascination with the unknown. Crank up the volume, dim the lights, and embrace the darkness. A bond forged in blood and sound. From the ominous tritone of Black Sabbath's early albums, heavy metal and horror have walked hand in hand a bond forged in blood and sound. Tracing it back to a shared sense of rebellion, metal and horror provide a sense of community, a haven for those who feel like outsiders. Keep it brutal, keep it bloody, and most importantly, keep it metal. Thanks for watching. As we look to the future, the bond between heavy metal and horror shows no signs of weakening. New bands and filmmakers continue to explore the dark, the terrifying, and the rebellious, pushing the boundaries of both genres. Streaming platforms and social media have provided new avenues for these creative expressions, making it easier than ever for fans to discover and connect with the macabre and the metallic. The next generation of metalheads and horror enthusiasts are already rising, their passion ignited by the same themes that have fascinated us for decades. From underground venues to mainstream stages, from indie horror films to blockbuster hits, the spirit of metal and horror lives on, evolving yet staying true to its roots. So whether you're headbanging at a concert or gripping the edge of your seat during a horror film, remember that you are part of a legacy. A legacy forged in blood, sound, and an undying love for the unconventional. Thanks for watching.
www.thematelpit.org.